So we're in Dublin for Fuse24. I'm here with Rob Hughes. He is Head of Wireless Marketing and Product Strategy at Fujitsu. Rob, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us today. So um, can you just tell us what Fujitsu is highlighting here at the Fuse show? Well, uh, we've got a lot of really exciting things happening with Open RAN. Uh, we've got a new massive MIMO radio as part of our growing RU portfolio uh, and introduced a, a new uh, RAN intelligent controller. Uh, there's also a lot of new exciting things happening with AI and ML. So some new developments with AI RAN, as well as an AI powered uh, accelerated root cause analyzer, uh, as well as a machine learning powered um, design tool for, for optical networks. Okay, wow, that's, uh, that's quite the, the roll call uh, yeah. there. But can you tell us more about that accelerated root cause analysis tool? Because these kind of things are really important to operators, aren't they? Yes, yeah, the, 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 the root cause analyzer tool is, is, is quite exciting. Um, because, you know, for operators, um, a network alarm storm is, is when you have uh, a sudden increase in, in alarms where a large proportion of them are severe or critical. Uh, and this causes a lot of challenges for operators that have to sift through large data sets, uh, especially if they're using traditional tools. So with this solution, it uses AI and, and ML to improve the root cause analysis. It, it quickly identifies the root cause, um, performs root cause analysis, and uh, then provides recommendations to the operator on, on, on how to address them. Um, so that's, uh, that's uh, one of the cool things that we're, we're showing off at the show today. Okay, and that sounds, you know, I'm really excited about these kind of um, solutions because they don't get as maybe as much, uh, you know, sort of uh, airtime as, uh, as maybe they should, but the operators, of course, really appreciate them. Um, now, Fujitsu obviously is making a name for itself in uh, Open RAM with quite a few uh, deals uh, already. So, um, you mentioned uh, earlier on a few of the things you're doing. Can you elaborate a bit more on what's new in Open RAM for Fujitsu? Sure. So, we, we recently announced our um, uh, uh, RAM intelligent control. So, that includes both near real time RIC as well as non real time RIC. Um, the, this is it's supported with sort of a, a robust software development kit uh, to access AI and ML functionality. Um, so this includes some off-the-shelf machine learning models that can be adapted to and, and trained on an operator's data uh, to, to really enable the, the app developers to, to come up with new apps uh, rather quickly. Um, the the non-real-time RIC is already deployed in uh, uh, um, a network acceleration project in the United States, uh, as well as will be trialed with an operator later this year. And uh, the, the near real-time RIC will be out shortly in, in 2025. Um, for our massive MIMO radio, we're showing our new 64 transmit, 64 receive uh, radio that's fully open RAN compliant. Um, and it's a, a high power, high performance solution that supports advanced beam forming to, to really improve uh, spectral efficiency and, and energy efficiency. Okay. Um, and you've mentioned uh, AI a few times already, and of course that's an incredibly hot topic. And AI in the radio access network looks like it's going to be, you know, a, a pretty big thing. Um, is Fujitsu doing anything specific in this area? Yeah, we're we're we've been working with Nvidia for about four years now, uh, and now we're 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 happy to share that we've also been working with SoftBank during this time. Um, so we're we're going to be announcing uh, um, an MOU that we've signed with SoftBank to increase. Um, the, the joint R&D that we're, we're already doing with them to develop software that will use AI to improve RAN performance and, uh, and really improve the, the communications quality. Um, so this, this work has already been, been underway. We're super excited to share that uh, we, we've got already a, a, an outdoor proof of concept that we've been collaborating on with, with uh, SoftBank. Um, and it's, it's already showing results. So the solution uses Fujitsu VRAN software. 
uh, which will run on an NVIDIA GH200 Grace Hopper super chip. Uh, and as I mentioned, it's already producing results. Um, we're able to support 20 cells simultaneously, uh, all with running high quality communications. So that's a, it's, it's not just showing that it's something that's in the future, it's, it's real, it's here, it's working, and we're really excited to share that with people. Okay, excellent. That sounds like a great development. And of course, SoftBank and NVIDIA are two of the companies really pushing things forward in AI and the RAN, as we know. Yes. Um, now, of course, Fuji Fujitsu is also well known for its optical networking portfolio. Um, well, what's new in that realm? Sure. So we've been working on our open line system designer. Um, so this uses machine learning to create a, a digital twin using real time data from the optical network. Um, so it can be used to, to really speed up uh, and optimize multi-vendor networks. Uh, sorry, speed up the network planning and testing of them uh, and uh, to, to optimize it for, for multi-vendor networks. And the challenge with, with some of the tools today is the, they're not really set up for multi-vendor networks. So that results in having to do a lot of manual field testing and field collection of data. Um, and that makes, it slows things down, makes it a bit complex. And one of the challenges is it, it really ends up with sort of a, uh, just sort of a, a static view in time of what the network looks like. Uh, so with OLS Designer, it uses machine learning to gather the data, such as things like the, the transponder configurations, uh, the, 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 the rotom topology, and then uses intelligent network planning to do things like uh, transponder reachability assessments, um, recommends uh, modulation formats and, uh, and data rates, so that you really get peak performance performance and, and scalability. And the beauty is that it's, it's always learning. So it's always training the model to improve the designs, to speed up your, your network planning, uh, which speeds up uh, service delivery, so you get to revenue faster, um, and, and really maximizes the amount of capacity in the network at any point in time. So lots of exciting things happening. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously there's a lot of excitement about AI and the RAM, but it's great to hear that, you know, machine learning tools are making a difference to, you know, the, the really important core transport networks as well. So yeah. that's, a, that's a great development. Rob, thanks so much for joining us today and give, bringing us up to date with what Fujitsu is doing. Lots of exciting stuff there. Thank you. Yes, thanks for having me, Ray.